Hello and welcome to HPM Crypto Corner for Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. We have several things to talk about, so let's get started. First of all, a really interesting article about the Legend of Boggy Creek and the restoration done by Pamela Pierce Barcelo. Back to Boggy Creek, the history, hibernation, and reemergence of Falk's favorite monster. There's some great behind-the-scenes fo fo footage. There's Charles B. Pierce behind the camera. Sort of a press release about how well the movie has done in different cities. Legend of Boggy Creek back then. A G-rated film. A photo of Charles B. Pierce receiving an award. Producers of the Year. One of the, one of the outstanding producers of the year. And there's a shot from the movie. And a shot of the Blu-ray. This just sort of gives you a general background also on how the movie was made, how it came about. And the process of restoring it. Unfortunately, we have another passing to report on. Bill Miller, Sasquatch Country Adventures tour founder, has passed away. He passed away last Thursday. Thomas Steenberg made the announcement on his Facebook page. Bill was a researcher himself and had a sighting in 2003 in British Columbia. But he had an experience in 1980 in a lake in Minnesota where he heard this thing running and the pounding kept a perfect rhythm. It was like beating your chest, uh, like the hollow cavity of your chest. The, the, the running sounds. Apparently, Bill had been critically ill for quite a while, almost a year. And he and Thomas Steenberg would often work together to take individuals up into the high country around Harrison Lake and give them a, be a beautiful view and a view of some of the country that Sasquatch live in. He was the driving force behind the Sasquatch Museum in Harrison in 2018. I met Bill in 2011 at the John Green Tribute, the original Sasquatch Summit. He was pretty nice. He was on a couple of documentaries, Bigfoot's Reflection and the Unwanted Sasquatch. I had him and Bill Munns also at the same time on HBM's Crypto Corner, the audio version back in 2010. For a show, the, for a show about the Patterson-Gimlin film. It was a really good show. I really enjoyed that particular episode. They both did a tremendous job. R.I.P. Bill, and may your memory be eternal. Now watch this. A dog walker films Nessie? In this case, I don't think so, but you be the judge. Now that looks like a log. I think it's a log. It's not Nessie, it's a log. Just a simple case of misidentification, and it can happen to anybody. 
It just happened to this one couple. Trevor and Sarah Ross. It happens. I, I, I don't fault them. I mean, they probably honestly thought they had Nessie recorded. It's nothing more than a log, though. Finally, has Nessie been caught on sonar by tour boat 500 feet below the surface of the water? You guys can be the judge. Sonar image captured by Cruise Loch Ness director Ronald McKenzie while he was skippering a catamaran on Wednesday afternoon. I think this was about two weeks ago. I'll scroll down. This is supposed to be the image of Nessie. Although one expert says it may be a shoal of fish or possibly a surgeon. Could this little blip be Nessie? That's a possibility. Could it also be a shoal of fish or a sturgeon? That's also a possibility. We don't know for sure. If it is Nessie, it's pretty exciting. If it's not Nessie, well, at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And that's going to do it for this week. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are the heart of the show. Without you, this show wouldn't be possible. I will continue to do this show as long as you want me to. I appreciate all the feedback and good comments. And until next week, y'all be good or be good at it. This is Vinicius P.M. Crypto Corner. <laughs>